Well, hello there and welcome to the Matterhorn, the most iconic mountain, maybe in all of the world, but certainly in this part of the world. And we're here in the Swiss Alps uh, on the Matterhorn Glacier Trail. And I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey. We're gonna hike this trail, check out the geology, explore the area a little bit and just have a good time and a fun adventure. Thanks for joining me and let's just go check things out. So here's sort of our landscape here. We got off the cable car here at Trucknersteg, um, looking up towards the high peaks or just over that ridge line, you drop down into Italy. And then as we turn over here and look to the west, we see the Matterhorn, a little bit of clouds floating by there. And then just finish the panoramic view for you here. Uh, some more high peaks, some more glacial horns. And then down in that valley is the village of Zermatt. So let's uh, just head up the trail here. We'll be walking in and out of the snow a little bit. And we will just see what kind of geology we come across as we go. Of course, the Matterhorn, geologically, the one little bit I do know about it is that um, the upper portion of the mountain is made of rocks that were thrust and carried into this area from Africa. So basically, a little slice of Africa is what makes up the upper portion of the Matterhorn. And it's been thrust onto a foundational piece of Europe. So you literally have one plate sitting above another right here as we look at the Matterhorn. But let's go check out some of the outcrops as we go, see what we can find. So the trail we're following is just a little ways below where the glaciers end today. Uh, but it was not long ago that the glaciers were here in this very location. And so what we're looking at is this sort of new landscape where mainly just rock dominates. Um, it probably hasn't been exposed more than just I would guess a few hundred years or so, not sure, but you know, you can see in places there are some, you know, pioneering communities of lichen and moss and other just sort of primitive organisms starting to take root here, some, some types of plants and such. And uh, there's the, the Matterhorn there. As we look at the rock here, we can see that it is um, crystalline, so we're in these metamorphic rocks. You can see some crude banding through the rocks here, uh, but also there's the presence of mica. You might see some real sparkly stuff in this rocks. In fact, some of the rocks down here around me are really mica rich. Let's see if I can find one here in a second. Um, here's a small one. You might be able to see the little sparklies reflecting in that there. So basically we're looking at schists and gneisses, these high grade metamorphic rocks, rocks that were uh, cooked and squeezed by elevated temperatures and pressures, uh, likely at a convergent plate boundary and squeezed together. What's really striking here though, uh, and aside from the, the glacial polish, which I'll show you here in a second, is just the oxidation. You can see the, the red brown staining on these rocks is pretty pervasive as we walk up the trail. There's quite a bit of this oxidation that is staining the outside of the surface, this maroon color. Um, let's see if we can find a good set of striations. Yeah, you can see some here. I believe there's this surface here. Let's see, take my glasses off so I can see the camera a little better. But you can see the striations running this way across this uh, oxidized surface. Super polished, just glittering in the sun. There's some interesting little nodules sticking out of this in places. Not sure if that's part of the iron uh, oxidation, maybe a hematite, or if it's something else. So let's head up the trail. A bit further. Um, you know, and as the glaciers retreated from here, they just dropped all the rocks they were carrying. So as we work our way through this landscape, there's just a real interesting assemblage of rocks, um, mostly metamorphic rocks, mostly schists and gneisses, but a few, I saw some, a few 
what I'd call phyllite, a little bit lower grade metamorphic rocks. Um, haven't seen any granites or granitic material. Here's a real, real good schist right here. Hopefully you can see the surface here with the uh, mica crystals. If I'm breathing heavy, it's where it's because we're at uh, a little under 10,000 feet, so uh, something north of like 3,200 or so meters. So the the air is thin, as they say. Here's a piece of this looks like marble right here. So we've got some marble here as well. In fact, let's go ahead and let's actually test this one out and see if this one fizzes. It looks a lot like marble. Let me rummage in my pack for a minute and if I can find my handy dandy acid bottle. So yeah, let's see if this fizzes a little bit as we put some acid on it. Yeah, sure enough, real strong reaction to the acid. So we're getting some marbles here as well. So again, these um, glaciers were just carrying all the rocks from their source area uh, into this landscape and then just dumping them here as the glaciers retreated. So let's go catch up to the others, uh, hike up a little further and see what we can find. We've got Matterhorn up here, shrouded in the clouds a bit. Some snow and ice to navigate. Yeah, we'll see you a little bit further up the trail, friends. So the trail's getting a little spicy in places. We've got these big snow patches to cross, which in places goes fine because it's you know pretty firm crusted and you just sink down a few inches. Other places I've post holed up to my knees and beyond, almost up to my waist in places. So um, we're just trying to get through this part and get down a little bit lower. Also keep an eye on the weather here in the mountains. We've got some clouds building. It's about 1230. So we definitely want to be down in the next little bit. So I may abbreviate the next bit of this here. Um, still same rocks glaciated metamorphic rocks through this section. Spectacular scenery, but I'm gonna hustle down a little bit lower here. Okay, so we've dropped down some elevation, feeling a little better about the weather and such. So um, we should, could, should be in good shape. Um, weather shouldn't get much worse for an hour or two, if at all. And we've dropped down quite a bit of elevation over where we were. And the, the way has been a little bit easier going, less snow to deal with. So that's all good news. Um, yeah, but still, you know, you never take it for granted. We're still well above tree line. Uh, we just want to be out of here before there's any chance of a thunderstorm. Um, so just still spectacular views here from just below the Matterhorn, which is up there shrouded in clouds. Not shrouded, I suppose, but there's a little bit of clouds there on the coming over the, the southwest side um, and then just looking into this former glacial valley that's now just filled with uh, rock and some snow here and there water there's this big stream braided stream just over here um, and geology wise haven't really seen a whole lot else we did up there see a little bit of, um, and not an outcrop, just kind of in pieces on the ground, some greenish rocks uh, that look to me like serpentinite. And serpentinite is a, a rock that forms by basically chemical reactions between water and very mafic rocks like peridotite, uh, usually found at subduction zones. And I was hoping there might be a few more here down this valley, but I'm not seeing any great ones. So if I do see any, I'll um, roll film on another little segment and see, see what we can show you. But mainly we're still seeing um, schists, gneisses, uh, all metamorphic rocks, some marbles here and there. Um, might be some other stuff here as well that I'm not aware of. Metamorphic rocks are probably my, my weakest zone of geology, but... Yeah, good hike nonetheless, but we still have a ways to go to get down to 
the cable car station. So let's see what the next little bit uh, we have here ahead awaits for us. We have a fun little bridge here over this uh, outwash stream. Just all the snow melting out of this glacial basin below the Matterhorn. See how murky the water is. Let's head across the bridge, see what's on the other side. Beautiful scenery. There we go. And if you're wondering how we like find our way through this landscape where the trail's not obvious, uh, there's these red and white markers every so often, along with some poles that kind of help you navigate and figure out where you're going. So that's been pretty helpful. One more view. You just can't get enough of views of the Matterhorn, at least I can't. There you go. Beautiful mountain. Well, I was worried I wasn't going to see any outcrops with serpentinite, uh, but I found one here on the last hill, the last kind of push up over this hill, and then it's downhill all the way, all the way to the cable car. But here we have in the gully on the hillside in front of us, this exceptionally shiny rock. And I really hope the color comes across, but you should see some green kind of silvery rock here. Um, and then if we pick one up, let's see if this works. Um, it's exceptionally smooth, like it's, it's slippery to the feel. And this is serpentinite. I believe it's also uh, California's state rock. But serpentinite has a cool story. It starts out as peridotite, as basically ultramafic mantle rock. Rock's not even from the Earth's crust, but actually from the Earth's mantle. And those rocks then are carried into a subduction zone where various hydrothermal processes um, react with the rocks. There's a nice one right here, really shiny. Reacts with the rocks and changes it, uh, changes the mineralogy uh, to many different minerals, uh, serp serpentine being one of them, but a lot of other minerals in there as well and it turns it into this rock called serpentinite. Um, and so it always has a cool story. If I remember my reading correctly, this is, um, these, these original rocks here were about 200 million years old, but the, they were changed, they were metamorphosed into serpentinite sometime between 30 to 50 million years ago when this alpine orogeny began, when these rocks were um, compressed and shortened and thrust here into this part of Switzerland. Really nice little outcrop down here. Again, you can just see it, it is kind of layered. It's, it has a foliation to it, but this green, shiny surface that's exceptionally, um, exceptionally slippery. Let's see if we can get that. There you go, a little piece right here. Super smooth to the touch. That's serpentinite, the word of the day. Pretty great. So we're still here right below uh, the Matterhorn. Quick view up there of the Matterhorn. Um, and the clouds aren't getting a lot thicker, but we're just trying to play it safe, get out of here on time. So we'll head up this hill and we'll see, see what's over the hill, see what else we get. But serpentinite, just really cool that uh, I found this up here, was really hoping to see it. And we found it, good work. Well, hey, thanks for joining me on this fun little adventure across the Matterhorn Glacier Trail. A uh, little bit more snow than we were expecting, but we made it work. Got off the mountain in time, saw some cool rocks, some great views of the Matterhorn from right at its base, and just, again, a spectacular day here in the Swiss Alps. So, again, thanks for joining me. Thanks for your support of the channel, and we'll see you next time. Take care.